Hey there everyone, Hatesh here and welcome to the MongoDB series. Thank you so much for showing all the love and support for the series and assuming that you are already a subscriber of my YouTube channel, let's move forward. I trust you on that part. So let's understand that so far we have been dealing up with one-on-one -on -one situation. One-on-one -on -one situation means one-to-one -one relation and uh, there is something very unique on this side, there is something unique on this side as well. And uh, we gave an example, we tried to look up into an example where I am very unique as a user on YouTube and the video that I'm creating is also very unique. That video belongs to me, I belong to that video. So very strong one-on-one -on -one relation. But still, it can be challenged by with variety of reasons. Let's not go into much of depth. We now understand that concept. Let's move forward. Okay, now I can give you one more example which can be an example of one-to-many relation. Now one-to-many relation simply says, I'm a user, I'm creating multiple videos, classic example of one to many where one user is, is associated with many products and definitely it can be done for courses as well one user can buy a lot of courses one user can produce a lot of videos one user can make a lot of comments one video can get a lot of comments you get the point okay so now we want to make a simple kind of a situation exactly like this and we want to figure it out what is going to be the best situation while designing such things with one to many relation. Definitely we know two options so far. One is embedding uh, the document in itself. Other one is using the reference IDs. We know how to deal up with both of them. So let's go ahead and try to have this one. So uh, let's just say we are again working for YouTube and we're going to be using a database calling as, uh, let's just call this as comments. There we go. So we are switched to comments. And by the way, uh, just one quick thing. If I just say show DBs, it lists me a database. And you know what? I don't like some stuff. I don't like to have these man database. So here is my uh, task that I really want to achieve. I want to delete YouTube, students, old student, and courses. So these are one, two, three, four, four databases that I want to delete. And I don't know how the delete command works in MongoDB. So I'm dependent on you that you are going to put in the comment section that how I can delete uh, these four databases. So write the exact command to delete all of these databases. And I will be looking forward. I trust you that you will be putting that in the comment section so that I can just delete these databases. I'm dependent on you. So just go ahead and write that in the comment section. So now that we are using a database, which is use comments, uh, we're going to move forward and have some comment. Okay, so db dot comment and notice previous one was comments. It is comment and we are going to insert one. There we go. Start the curly brace and hit enter. So what is the information that you want while adding a comment onto any video? First and foremost, definitely we know video name. So let's just say this is video name. This is a video on React JS, probably something like that. Okay. And uh, we need a whole lot of other information who is the creator of the video itself so that we can provide a notification. We also want to get to know the information about who is the user who is making this comment. But let's not get into too much of the depth. We are here to understand the basic one to many relations. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay. So next is going to be the comment itself, assuming that we have collected all that information that we need to authenticate and blah, blah, and whole lot of stuff. Sorry about bumping into the mic. And uh, there we go. So let's move forward and uh, let's look for the comment, what user is going to say. So user is asking uh, how to install React.js. Okay, let's just say this is the question for the user, putting a comma here. Okay, now again, what can be the replies here? Okay, so replies can be a collection of an array. There we go. And inside that we can have a couple of things. We definitely can put up a direct replies here, but we are gonna be putting up a, a replies as rep REP112. Uh, this is a unique ID that I came up for these replies. And you might have guessed what kind of approach we are using here. So we're gonna say rep223, uh, <laughs> this is what we are having. And we're going to be ending this up, need to end this up as well. There we go. So now we do have something in the database. Let's see what do we have db dot comment uh, find dot find. There we go. Or rather, I would like to use find one. There we go. 
So we can see that the approach we are following here, we do have a unique ID for this object, video name, and reply itself is, uh, now we are using two document approach, the reference ID approach. So obviously if we do have this kind of approach, we need to create uh, another document which says replies. So we're gonna hit control L and we're gonna go ahead and do something like this. Uh, DB dot, and uh, let's call it as replies. And uh, we need to enter some of the replies in this one as well. We definitely have two. So we're gonna call insert many, insert many. And this is gonna get started here. And since we want to enter two of them, we are gonna get an array to enter these value. And inside this array, uh, notice here, I'm gonna start this curly brace, hit enter. And now, first and foremost, we want to get this ID. So this is going to be underscore ID, underscore ID, colon, and uh, what did I call it? Rep 112. So rep 112, there we go. So this is my ID and putting a comma. What is the text? When somebody is giving a reply, obviously there should be some text. So we're gonna say uh, something like this. You can use node, okay, to install a React. That's like first stuff. And then I'm gonna be hitting enter. So this is my first, remember we are passing on array of objects. So this is first one, putting a comma, and then we are gonna be putting another one. And this is gonna be again, underscore ID. There we go, and uh, there we go. So this time it was rep, I guess two to three. Yep, two to three, two to three. There we go, we have given a unique ID, which is not system generated. We have actually created that ID, not a good idea, but we have created that. Okay, hit enter, we're gonna go text, and there we go. And we're gonna say something like this, you can uh, use uh, uh, probably yum install, maybe, homebrew, uh, which is a Mac specific. We don't need to go into technical detail of that. Okay, we're gonna hit a uh, curly brace to end this up and definitely a square bracket to end this up and then a pair of parentheses. So we are now able to get that. So we have now inserted this and we would like to see uh, replies find one. There we go. And we have now two IDs. Uh, first ID is here. And we definitely can use find all and all this stuff. But you know, now we have an ID of these. So this is what we have are having. Okay, this is a good approach. This is a good approach uh, at first. Uh, now notice what is going to happen. Now, whenever you're going to load a video, let's just say this thread is having uh, 200 comments, which is pretty common. And each, uh, this particular comment, this how to install React.js got pretty popular and got hundreds of replies. Now in that case, notice here, um, no matter what we have to do, we need to fire up two queries. First and foremost, we need to store the reference of these IDs and then store them in a variable and then fire this one and then loop through. At first it looked that always using these two separate IDs is a good thing, but now coming up here, you might be realizing that you know what, this is not a very good idea. Instead, it would have been a much better approach if we could have stored this uh, entire, all the replies related to this particular comment into here itself so that whenever we want to just load, we could have done that in just single query. Definitely, definitely, in this case, I would give you on that that this is going to be a better approach so we can do that. And in order to do, do so, I'm gonna give you a quick assignment to you. I'm gonna walk you through how it can be done but uh, here are quick assignment to, so that you can do it. First and foremost, we might want to remove that so we can just delete that. We're gonna say db dot, and what is the database or document we want to remove? Comment, db dot comment, and we're gonna use delete many. There we go, I want to delete all of them, there we go. Okay, hit enter, Every, everything is delete. Hopefully we will not be able to find anything, comment.find1, and we are still able to find that. Okay, I wrote it wrong, M is capital in the many, my bad. And there we go, finally it is deleted. Hopefully we will not be able to find anything. There we go, null there, okay. So how we can add another data? It's actually really simple. Let's go ahead and find the query where we were adding all of this, and not this one. Definitely 
this one. This is exactly how, what we want to. So we are using insert one and we are mentioning the video name, which is react.js. The comment is how to install react.js and instead of storing uh, these reply ID, it would be a much, much better choice uh, in case you want to just directly store an object. So we can just go ahead, store an object here and remove this part here, store an object here directly. And inside this object, we can definitely provide these unique IDs here for each individual replies as well, or it can directly store the text as well. ID, storing these ID makes sense here because of course they are pretty unique, so it makes sense. So we definitely can go for underscore ID and uh, can still give our very, very uh, amazing ID name that we came up with, which is going to reply 112 and then put a comma, yep, not here, here, and then we can have a text, colon, and then inside the text, we can give it like this, and we can say uh, stuff one, whatever there is, and then coming up onto here part, and we can go underscore ID, that is gonna be rep 223, and then put a comma, then we can go for text, and the text is, and we're gonna go stuff two or three, <laughs> there we go. So when we hit enter, now we are again able to do it, but notice what happens when, uh, when we actually find one. Now we are able to fetch all the replies. So we don't have to throw up two queries instead in just one query, uh, we are able to load this comment and we are able to load this reply as well. So again, as I mentioned, uh, this is a classic example of one to many because uh, one comment is now associated to uh, many of the replies as well. So again, pretty simple example. But again, the whole idea is to understand that no matter what kind of situation comes up to you, you will be able to create a database and architect the database in such a way that, yeah, for all situation, you're ready to do any kind of stuff, whether that's embedded document itself or whether that's a document you have to create with unique IDs. And again, providing these relation is pretty simple. We usually do that on the ID basis, but definitely can be done with other stuff as well. So that's it. That's your pretty simplistic example of one to many relation where one comment is associated with many of the replies that you see every single day uh, on the YouTube. So that's it for this video and uh, let's catch up in the next one.